What's going on, TW fans? Thomas here, bringing you another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. We are into November now, so Thanksgiving's not too far around the, the corner here, so, you know, the season of giving thanks. Today, I'm thankful for our cool manufacturers that hooked us up with some sweet new products so we can get out there and do some fishing. So let's take a look. First one is gonna go right along with that Thanksgiving theme. New one from Scum Frog. This is the Scum Frog Trophy Series Thanksgiving Edition Frog. Now they appropriate, appropriately named this guy Corny. So you can see we have a festive decorative corn uh, paint scheme up on top here. And then on the sides, a nice happy Thanksgiving on there. So this is great for the collector. This is great for, you know, somebody that's looking for a stocking, stocking stuffer. Uh, this is great for the avid angler. I mean, it's actually not a bad color, a nice little kind of natural color on the bottom here. So this thing is still gonna put a lot of fish in your boat. And you know, it's got all the same features as the Trophy Series that's you know, really made it a legendary frog. You have that open port on the back, so every cast it's gonna self-drain water, so you're gonna get that perfect presentation every time. Nice sticky owner hooks on the back, and then that soft plastic that collapses really, really easily. So you're still getting a premium frog, but with a limited edition Thanksgiving look to it. So make sure and order these while we still got them, because once they're gone, they are gone for good. We just you know, started selling through our uh, Halloween one, so they have that nice spooky little skeletonized on there, and now we got the Thanksgiving one. So make sure you grab one of all three. We'll have another holiday one coming out pretty soon. So cool one from Scum Frog. All right, let's take a look at another frog. This time from 10,000 Fish. This is the 10,000 Fish Tataki Frog. This is a pretty cool new frog. It's got a nice, I don't know, modern, aggressive, sleek look to it. You know, some aggressive lines on it. I, I like this one a lot. I think it's pretty cool. And another nice thing about it is it it's heavy. You know, it's about five eighths of an ounce. So for a two and a half inch frog, it, you know, it's heavier than some frogs on the market. So that's kind of nice. You're gonna get really long casts, but still maintain that small profile. How they actually achieved that one, they went away from the button style weights. So if you've ever been frustrated by losing your weights, trying to glue them in, get them to stay in there, or just having to throw away your frogs because you keep losing your weights, we don't have to worry about with this one. So they actually have a new patent pending innovative weight distribution system on here that's actually molded to the shanks of the hook. So this thing is not coming off at all. It is on there for the life of the frog. And where this weight system actually enters the frog, they have a nice kind of gasket system on there. So it's just gonna keep this thing watertight. You're gonna get far less water in this frog. If you do happen to get any moisture in there, it does have a little evacuation port on the top here so you can still squeeze that water out, but it should remain pretty, pretty water free. Now with those aggressive lines, yep, they look good, but they also serve a purpose. So we have kind of these channels on the side here that's just gonna keep this thing ultra weedless. So you're gonna be able to work it through any vegetation without worrying about this thing getting hung up does have an aggressive keel system on the bottom. So if you're working in an open water, you're good there too. It's gonna be a nice, easy walking frog. So whether it's vegetation, whether it's open water, any condition you wanna to toss this frog, it's gonna excel. On the back, we have you know the standard skirted legs, but you also have this flashing, you know, flashaboo kind of uh, highlight to it. So just another thing to draw the bass's curiosity, especially on some of those sunny days, it's gonna reflect a lot of light and you're just gonna get more looks. Up front here on the opposite side, we have a flush mounted line tie. So that's just gonna, again, kind of help shed if you're working it through some, you know, I don't know, thick cheesy mats on top, it's gonna keep any of that muck, that debris, that vegetation, less of it's gonna hang up on your frog. So you're just gonna have a more efficient frog. So pretty cool new design from 10,000 fish on this one. Make sure you grab them while we got them. All right, sticking with 10,000 fish, but now going to the soft plastic world. We have the new 10,000 fish Zucci bug. Uh, there's a lot going on with this one as well. This thing looks like it jumped right out of your favorite sci-fi movie and into your fishing, uh, fishing hole. So we got, like I said, a lot going on. Let's talk about some of the features here. So it starts with this you know, tapering body. It starts kind of bulkier up front and narrows down to their tickle tail system. So this tickle tail system, you know, really shimmy, quivers, like even just the little shake that I'm doing here with my hands. So with every twitch of your rod tip, uh, change in water current, that's just gonna get a lot of motion. Complemented by these kind of dragon looking legs on the side here, Again, you're gonna get some action that's gonna make the bass look, but these also, with that turbine kind of oversized plastic, it's gonna slow the rate of fall on this one. So as we're transitioning into winter, slowing down is not necessarily a bad thing at all. So these oversized turbine spinning legs are gonna slow the rate of fall on this thing. Up on the opposite end, you can see we have these two little wings. They got kind of little daggery pincers on the outside that's just gonna kind of undulate twitch and again move with the current of the water or the twitch of your rod tip. But also these wings are gonna help this thing glide in the water. So if you don't want necessarily just a straight vertical fall, or if you're trying to do one of those backsliding techniques where you get the bait to actually fall away from you, those wings are gonna help out with that. 
On the underside, you got a little bit of like hexagonal ribbing on here that's just gonna grab and disturb more water. So just really geared to grab the bass's attention, give them a new look. So if you're fishing a pressure lake where bass seem to have seen every single plastic on the market, throw this at them. They haven't seen this thing before, got some cool, unique, wild looking features to them. It's a nice new one from a 10,000 fish. All right, staying soft plastic, this time we're gonna go to missile baits here. So we have the Missile Baits Mini D Chunk Trailer. So kind of cool little finesse trailer fills maybe a void that you have in your uh, arsenal. So if you're working with some compact jigs, some finesse jigs, you know, as winter time is approaching here, if you wanna downsize your profile or match your a hatch a little bit better so you have smaller crawfish in the water, this new one for Missile Baits is gonna do just that. So you got a nice flat body up here that's gonna transition down into some waving, flapping, swimming craws, or claws, excuse me. They have these kind of cupped moldings in them, so you're gonna get a lot of action out of these ones. You're not really gonna get a subtle action, you're gonna get kind of a nice swimming, flapping action. And then another thing with this chunk style flat body, uh, it's kind of nice for skipping. So if you're gonna be trying to send this one under a dock, under overhanging cover, that flat, you know, streamlined bottom here is gonna help you do just that. So just a nice finesse option from Missile Baits just to kind of round out your arsenal a little bit. All right, let's take a look at another soft plastic and another finesse one, this time from OSP. We have the OSP HP Shad Tail Swim Bait. So just a kind of nice little finesse swim bait, paddle tail swim bait here. So as we're transitioning again into that tougher winter bite or ultra clear water, high pressured reservoirs, whatever the case may be, this thing is really gonna shine. So of course you can do this in all your standard if you wanna throw it on a little darter head, a ball head, uh, back of an A rig, that's gonna be great. But they actually have a few different rigging options on here as well. So you have three nubs that are kind of on the body. One, yes, it's gonna grab and disturb just a little bit more water, kind of help the bass hone in on this one, especially if you're navigating some dirty, stained, low light conditions. But it's also, those are uh, channels to guide you as you're hooking uh, this bait up. So if you wanna use this in a Nico rig style, maybe add a little nose weight, keep this thing in that foraging position as you bounce it along the bottom, that's gonna be a really, really great way to trigger some bites. You know bass can't resist that in the foraging position. You can kind of see like how limp this thing is as the tail hangs over. So you're gonna get a lot of action from that tail. In addition to the action from the tail, they actually have dual density plastic. So up top you have kind of a softer plastic, and then on the belly side and also the nose as well, it's gonna be more of a dense plastic. So in addition to that, that nose being more dense, so it's easier to nose hook or just you know send your favorite little ball head through it, it's gonna hold it on there securely. Uh, that bottom density is also gonna give it a little bit of a shimmy, a little bit of a roll, a body roll on it. So you're just gonna get a lot of action out of this little bait. You know, fish are not gonna be able to resist this in, whether you're using it on a ball head, whether you're using it on that cool Nico style, There's just a lot of options to do with this little finesse plastic. So a cool one from OSP. All right, now let's take a look at some hard baits. Got a couple new ones from Spro. First up, we have the Spro Aruku Shad Silent. So same uh, cool Aruku lipless bait that's been you know legendary, bringing a lot of fish in, staying weedless, but now we have a silent option. So finicky, again, those pressured fish, or maybe as we're transitioning into winter, if you wanna get a little less boisterous of a presentation there, you know, kind of quiet things down, more subtle action to it, take a look at the silent option here. So with this uh, Aruku Shad profile, it's meant to swim really, really nose down. So this thing was designed to tangle with some of that aquatic vegetation to hang up less. So with that nose down presentation, the hook's gonna come back here as you're swimming along, it's gonna bounce through rocks or other vegetation cover without hanging up as, as much. So I know some guys out there will modify their liplesses, pop off that hook and add, I don't know, a little willow blade or just leave it naked. You're not gonna really need to do that with this one, just the way that this thing is designed with that nose down posture which is also kind of a you know, natural look to it, making it look like a, a feeding bait fish, but it is just gonna come through some of that vegetation a little bit better. So you're getting that same great Aruku Shad action, but now in a silent model. All right, let's take a look at the next hard bait from Spro. This is the new Spro Mad Eye 55 crankbait. So kind of a new, unique crankbait from Spro on this one. I, I like this guy a lot. So, you know, it has shad in the name. It does have that kind of shad bait fishy profile to it, which is great. You know, transitions back here to this tail, which we'll talk about in a second. However, up front, we have this nice narrow build. So a couple of things that's gonna do, it's gonna get it to dive nice and quickly, but it's also gonna give it a slight body roll. So it's gonna add a little bit of vibration. So again, if you're dealing with uh, pressured fish or stained, muddy, dirty, low visibility conditions, that vibrating, rolling action is gonna kind of tickle the bass's lateral lines, let them feel that bait, let them hone in on it a little bit easier. 
Once they do, they are gonna see this nice, great color schemes on it, nice shad profile, and then this cool little pivoting tail on that. So you're almost getting a hybrid, a crankbait and a swim bait in one with this pivoting tail. So just gonna give it more of a natural bait fish look to it. Just another reason for that bass to lash out and attack this thing. When they do, got some nice premium round bend treble hooks on here. So you're gonna button up a lot of those fish. So a pretty cool new option from Spro. All right, let's take a look at some swim baits. These are new ones from Kasumi. First one up is actually gonna be a soft wake bait. This is the Kasumi Boracon soft wake bait. So a pretty cool, unique design on this one. So interior is gonna be an ultra buoyant, hard plastic core, but the exterior of this thing, soft. Everywhere you, you feel on this one. Even that little bill up front, it's a soft wake bait build. So pretty cool design. Uh, that buoyant plastic is gonna keep it up on the water, but they also give you a couple options up front here. So if you wanna use the top line tie, you can actually get it to dive down a little bit if you wanna target some of those subsurface fish. Or if you go under the chin, it's really gonna keep it up on the top of the surface, cause a lot of disturbance, a lot of waking action that fish are not gonna be able to resist. That soft design is gonna give it some impressive realistic action and just a different, more realistic feel to the bass. Of course, available in some premium color schemes, and with those Kazumi design products, you know you're getting a premium premium option. So we have nice BKK number two treble hooks on here to really button up any fish and just a cool, unique design. Up on top, they have these highlighting colors. So at the end of a long cast, or maybe you're fishing right at sunrise, right at sunset where that visibility is low, you're still gonna be able to track this bait a long way. So you'll be able to follow it from the end of the cast all the way back to the boat. Just a nice touch on this one. Now let's take a look at the other swim bait from a Kasumi. We have the new IU clone. So again, a soft option, but this time a glide bait. So you have that same hardcore. This time it's not gonna be a high buoyant, hard uh, interior, but it is still that hard interior coated with this really soft, realistic feeling soft plastic. So again, premium color options on here. We have a nice trout looking one on this one. With the glide bait, of course, you're gonna get you know that lazy S action underwater, so it's not gonna be as much of the surface. This one's actually designed to be a nice, slow, subtle sink right out of the package, but they did include an eyelet under the chin here if you wanna add some extra weight, get this thing to dive a little bit deeper. If you wanna fish it closer to the bottom this winter, he's giving you the options to do that. So again, that soft body, realistic feel. Something that bass haven't seen too much of, you know, most of them, most of the glide baits on the market are gonna be hard plastic options. So this is gonna be a little bit different of a feel, maybe a little bit more natural feel to them. Again, we have those nice uh, BKK hooks on there. So whatever does attack it, you're gonna feel it and you're gonna hook up with it immediately. And on the top, we have this uh, chartreuse highlight. So again, at the end of a long cast, low light, dirty water, you're gonna be able to track this bait a little bit better. Obviously, as you swim it a little bit deeper, that's not gonna be as possible. But if you're going, you know, no weight on the front of it, keeping it kind of near on that slow sinking near the surface, you'll be able to follow this one all the way back to your boat. And the last thing I want to talk about this one is I do like the way they designed it. It actually is designed so no matter, even if you're adding weight, whatever the case may be, this thing is going to remain in that vertical position. So as it's slow sinking down, it's going to stay in that natural vertical position. You're not going to get any of that weird rolling that you get with some other baits on the market. So just a cool premium option. All right, let's talk about some line. We got a new one from P-Line. Got the P-Line, the Spin X Braid. So this thing is designed to take your spinning setup to the next level. When you pull the spool out of the box, first thing anglers are gonna notice is the cool dual color design. So you have a, a high-vis blue and a high-vis orange. These colors alternate every meter. So the reason P-Line did this is they're allowing you to see your line better in all weather conditions. So on some of those cloudier days, that high-vis blue is gonna be easier to see versus the sprite sunny bluebird sky days, that hive is orange is gonna be able to be a little bit easier to see. So you're just gonna be able to see this thing in any weather condition, really be able to track your line. And with that one meter change of the color, you're be able to detect some of those bites a little bit better. You're gonna see that line jump, especially if it's, you know, bit on slack line or just a really subtle, subtle bite. You're gonna be able to visually see that a little bit better. Uh, this thing has no you know, heat treatment, no coating on it. And that makes it really, really soft and supple. So of course you're gonna get long casts out of it. That's what that soft softness does, but also it's gonna jump off the spool really quickly. So even if you're vertically fishing this one, you're drop shotting some deep water, uh, you know, handling some winter bass that are holding really, really deep, this thing is gonna get down there quickly and efficiently. So you're gonna be able to reach those fish faster than before with that soft, subtle line. So nice cool one from a P line here. Again, you're gonna of course get the sensitivity that you get from braid, that extra softness. It's an eight carrier design. So it's gonna be a really round braid, smooth, soft, and high visibility.
All right, last thing we're gonna talk to you today about, some couple storage options. From Bass Mafia, we have the new Bass Mafia Vault Coffin. This is the 1800. We also have a 3600 option here. So you're gonna get a ton of different options to house a lot of your tackle. Whether it's terminal tackle, some jigs, you know, anything like that, it's gonna be a cool option. So you have nice durable uh, latches here on the outside, and then of course the durable clear case. You can immediately see what's on here. If you drop this on the boat, maybe it's wet conditions, rough water conditions, you drop it, it's not gonna break. Nice durable. On the interior, you have laser foam cut uh, inserts on here. So you can add, oh, here we got some flipping hooks, some treble hooks, maybe you wanna add you know, your little darter heads, ball heads, finesse, shaky heads, whatever you want. That's gonna house in here very well. The 3600, more full size option, you can actually put you know straight up jigs in here. Again, you have those durable latches, they're all gonna come with that. You know, full jigs, you know, magnum size shaky heads. It's just gonna hold those really well. And that is nice because it's gonna keep them organized. It's gonna hold them in there nice and securely. It's also gonna extend the life of your hooks a little bit. So as you have your hooks in a storage system, if they're bouncing around, running into other, you know, maybe the head of another jig on there, whatever the case may be, it can eventually dole around your hook even. So just holding them in that secure position, you know your hook is gonna stay razor sharp, ready for any fish that comes to tangle with uh, your jigs or whatever the case may be. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. As always, thank you for tuning in. And as always, if you want to learn more about these products or to shop for them, make sure to click shop in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe to our channel. And let us know in the comments below which one of these baits you're most pumped about. Is it the tataki frog? You ready to stuff some stockings with these new scum frogs? Let us know. We'll see you all next week.